Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, Accidental Beauty. If you're new, welcome. My name is Laura. I'm a self-taught makeup enthusiast who absolutely loves wigs, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. I am going to be trying, well, unboxing and trying on and just kind of doing like a first impressions on this wig that I bought from Weekend Wigs. I can't remember the name of this one, but it's like short platinum blonde bob or something along those lines. This is the first time that I've tried any wigs from Weekend Wigs, so it's my like first introduction to the brand. If you guys want to see my thoughts, unboxing, first impressions, then please keep on watching. So if you've never heard of this brand before, Weekend Wigs is just one of those Instagram brands. At least I became aware of them maybe like about six years ago or so. All of these wig companies, mostly, um, China-based wig companies were approaching influencers and just sending them wigs to review. And so like all of these companies seem to pop up overnight because all of these uh, sort of alternative and some more mainstream influencers just started wearing wigs and then everyone on Instagram was wearing wigs. So that was how I found out about them. So let's move on to the unboxing. All right, so let's just unbox this. Can I just say this came super super fast this came from china and it shipped i feel like it came within like a week so really impressed there and i don't remember if i paid actually for express shipping like i forget what the options are i it was free shipping but i can't remember if it was like by default express okay so the box is damaged it says weekend wigs on it what do we got we have Looks like two wig caps. We have like, you know, the standard one like this. And then it comes with some bobby pins, always useful. And then the wig itself. This is exactly the shade that I was looking for. We've got a Weekend Wigs roll tag. It has their socials and website on it. Where are we? There we go. This is a lace front bob wig. It's so pretty. It looks exactly like it does on the website. Super, super soft. I'm going to put my hair up in a wig cap, trim the lace, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. And I realized I forgot to mention. So it did come with like this tissue paper to hold its shape. Uh, we have three combs in the front. One, two, three. Here's the lace front. Uh, and then we have like these bra strap things in the back with these little hooks. So you can tighten it. I guess not the biggest amount of lace. You can see it goes till about here. This is what the, the, I guess, parting looks like. I guess we'll see when I put it on. It looks like it's probably meant to be parted down the center. Okay, so this is the wig on and I have some thoughts. We've got like, okay, I'm gonna just spin around and show you. It's asymmetrical, which I don't think it mentioned that on the website. I don't know how to feel. So, all right, it comes down to like here on me in the front, but then in the back. And then uh, let's see if it passes the weft test. So I feel like you can see, I can definitely feel the wefts. I don't know, I can't really tell if you can see them. I love the color. I think the color looks amazing. And I think the length is gonna be really great for summer like photo shoots and things like that. I just really don't like the style. So I think, I think I'm gonna trim this a bit. Cause right now we have like this kind of like Uraraka thing going on. And I don't really love that style. Like unless obviously you're, you're cosplaying. The style just looks like it's a cosplay wig. What I think I'd probably do is just cut these pieces in front like Maybe till about like here or so and just have like a really blunt bob at least in the front because this like longer in the front shorter in the back thing is really not doing it for me like otherwise it just it looks it looks weird it looks a little wiggy even just like if I put it back it looks a little more normal uh, also oh you can see my wig cap okay also let's take a look at this hairline the hairline really isn't bad yeah, it's actually pretty good. It is a little thick though, which makes it look a little unnatural and therefore a little wiggy. 
and like the density of the hair itself like it it does look a little fake as a result but it doesn't look shiny at all which is really amazing like it looks like very thick white hair <laughs> So just so you know, like I have a pretty small head. I have it on the tightest setting. If you have a big head though, there is plenty of room. So I think this should fit most head sizes. So, I mean, this is it straight out of the box. So I'm definitely planning to customize it a little bit more. Uh, let's see, like, can I part it another way? It doesn't seem to, it doesn't seem to want to be parted like in another direction. Although there is enough lace for me to part it in another way if I wanted to, but it seems pretty stuck on a middle part. Some of my other wigs part a little easier, like if I wanna change the, the parting, the hairline. And it's already getting a little bit tangled. But because it's so short, it's not too bad. It has shed a little bit. I actually pulled out a whole like little, I don't know, like knot, like a little like, like however it's like sewn in. So like I pulled out like a little section of hair. So that's a little concerning, but I mean, it is so thick that, you know, you won't notice, but just something to keep in mind. Uh, I wouldn't say the quality feels like hair, like it does feel like a synthetic wig, but it looks pretty, I think it looks pretty good. It's a little wiggy maybe, just because of like how stiff it looks. But I think on camera it looks pretty good. So I think I'd probably give this like maybe a four out of five. I was impressed with how fast my order was processed and shipped and delivered. Quality of the wig is pretty, pretty good considering it's a synthetic wig. It wasn't cheap though. And I feel like for a wig of this quality, like. I have better quality synthetic wigs that I actually paid less for. I'm definitely gonna play around and customize it a bit more because I think once I cut it a little shorter, I think it'll look a bit more natural. So I think this wig does have potential, but uh, I'm not super impressed just with it straight out of the box. So those are my thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of this wig. Have you tried this wig or any other wigs from Weekend Wigs? I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you like the type of looks that I do here on my channel and you want to see more, I'd love it if you could follow me on my other social media accounts where I post lots of really intense like looks and fun outfits. I don't know, I just like to express myself through makeup and fashion, so if that's your thing. I think you'll enjoy my other social media accounts. And if you enjoy the looks that I do here on my channel, I'd love it if you could subscribe and turn on notifications and that way you'll get updated every time I post a new video and I'll see you guys next time.